Hi everyone, welcome to another CLDR preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. Please pause the video if necessary to understand the requirements and then let us begin. Which of the following steps needs to be taken if you decide to build the block diagram shown into an executable? So if you observe very carefully, the VI is being called dynamically during the runtime. So this means the file path that is provided, for example, in this case, vi under test.vi is not the part of the application or the vi that is actually calling it. So in this case, vi under test.vi will not be the part of the executable if you don't add it manually. So the answer is going to be B. The VI that is being called dynamically needs to be manually added to the build specification. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.